Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3 d Printing Iceland. Uh, today I'm going to show you how I designed a new shelf for the refrigerator door I have. Uh, they are keep, they're very old, the ones that I have, and, and they're not available. So I had to draw up a design in Fusion 360 and, and make everything fit together with a door and I ended up creating a, a new shelf that I can, that I can print out uh, more if I need, need to. There are places for like five of those in the door, or maybe four or five, but uh, there is uh, currently just two left of the old ones and they are uh, partly broken, so uh, I have to print out more of those. But I wanted to show you uh, the faces I went through designing this and um, um, I have a few pieces of the design process uh, I'm also going to show you in Fusion 360 a few of the steps I went through and it's not uh, not a 360 tutorial or something it's just a, just to show you the, the steps I take to make things like this happen so uh, the first thing I did uh, was to get the profile of the corner piece in the refrigerator uh, to fit uh, there is a the angle uh, angle this angle here and this profile here had to has to be correct so uh, I fitted those in the on the actually I drew it out on the paper at first but uh, then I uh, printed this and fitted it to the, the plastic in the refrigerator. Uh, the next step was, was to, to get uh, a face uh, to fit the, the, the part in the refrigerator door that is, is connecting to this piece to hold it in place. And this was one of the faces I need to, needed to have in the right place. So this was a test print to get that right, and here's a bigger one of the same same design, just with a higher platform to make sure it f would fit better. Uh, then this one, I added the other side of the of the design where the knob on the refrigerator fits in here, and and this is uh, touching the other side, and there's an angle here also on the. On the on the knob, so there's one angle here and another angle here, uh, because the plastic in the refrigerator door is not symmetrical. It has an angle like this on this side and is 90 degrees on this piece on this side. So I got that uh, with this piece. Uh, then I printed a bigger bigger version of it. Uh, actually, I when I was fitting this, this is upside down. So this is a, uh, a bigger print to have the sides lining up and, and making sure this was correct here. Uh, when I got this right, I printed out uh, uh, a full uh, full size of the of the piece. So the plastic knob that is in the door goes in here and slides over here and, and then up in this groove. And uh, when the when I place the shelf in the in the plastic so it goes like this and like this so I had to have a, a space for for the knob to go on the shelf and, uh, uh, and then I'm and I did this this is a full full size of the of the corner piece uh, not in the correct length and um, um, this is uh, this has the this actually I printed this and then this one because I forgot to put the the place here for the for the knob. So you can see how I added the the hole. And um, um, when I, when I got this uh, correct, I just had to change the length of, of those faces here. So I ended up with with a full size. Uh, piece it, it is in two part because the length of the shelf is more than the, the build volume of the printer so I had to make one side and, and then another side 
like this and, and put them together and, and to have a better bonding area I, I created um, those pieces to to go in between so they go in like this and, and I plan to glue them in place with a super super glue so uh, they will ha help have a good contact surface of the pieces to to get glued together and, and I have fitted this in the refrigerator and it is a very good fit like this like this uh, yeah but next I'm gonna show you a few other steps in Infusion 360 and, and, and explain uh, while I show you the steps Here is uh, the final piece. Uh, uh, I have uh, I've put everything together in relations to each other, so every piece is, is here. And but to start with, I I created the the profile, uh, and then in small increments, I added the volume of the with pieces and you can see it's a few few steps designing and changing changing items uh, and it's not like a very structured design <laughs> because I'm new to Fusion 360 and I was going back and forth a little bit but here you can see I'm, I'm adjusting the hole for the for the knob uh, so this is uh, this is building building up slowly and I'm testing the, the the places of everything and here's the hole and uh, I'm adjusting it a little bit and, and cleaning up uh, the edges to make make them smooth and then I got the, the length of the of the piece and the grooves for the for the inserts to be glued on and then I just mirrored this design over and uh, uh, sorry, uh, I mirrored this over and put it in place and added those pieces. Uh, I had to when I printed out the big pieces. I noticed that when in the refrigerator there was a small gap between them, so so here I, I moved moved the other piece according to the gap and made the middle pieces longer so so they fit uh, fit in the in the groove and there is a quite number of steps to get everything uh, to fit but it was uh, not very difficult uh, the only problem uh, i can't uh, i don't know how to make fixed because this is one piece and this is one piece and I can't do a camfer jumper like this on the on separate pieces but I could probably build up a face here and, and do this but I decided it is okay to have a small gap here I, I plan to uh, when I have glued everything together to pr spray paint everything uh, with a clear paint just to close up the cracks in the plastic because uh, I don't uh, want uh, dirt and, and some something to get stuck in, in between the layers, uh, but uh, I think uh, uh, I think uh, because this will probably just hold containers for various items in the refrigerator. Uh, I don't. I want to make it a little bit more food safe, but of course I'm not going to place uh, any raw material uh, on the on the shelf, so it won't be in direct contact with food. But it's better to clean up 
uh, all the edges and, and how it filled up. Uh, I'll probably uh, sand it a little bit during the paint process to get get the faces correct. There's a slight uh, alignment issue in the in the plastic because of just tolerances, and, uh, but I don't think it will be a, a big problem to to get. Uh, get in a get it uh, glued together with a super glue. Uh, so this is uh, what I want to show you today. I, I've also been printing a few items uh, on, in regard of the cabinet and also on the on the arms here. Maybe you can uh, see. Uh, can show you with this camera. The mic, uh, this connecting piece uh, from the, the metal here um, and to the mic uh, threads, uh, but also a few design uh, design steps uh, with a with a camera mount that is. Uh, here, because uh, there's a ball joint on the on the camera, um, uh, I can't just show you a close-up. But uh, what I did was uh, create this platform to be bolted on the arm, and then I was finding out the best way to do the sockets. So there's a, a few few steps in the design. Uh, I printed out both with ABS and, and PLA to find out which material was working best with the ball. ball. Um, I ended up using ABS uh, for this part uh, because I could, uh, it, it was a better, better fit for this. Uh, but this is a, another sample of design phases of items. Uh, so this is uh, I've been doing this, and then I also changed a few things in the cabinet. Uh, I have a put in a, a spool holder. Yeah, you can see now uh, uh, there's a, a holder in the side of the cabinet, and then a, a broomstick. Uh, I had to uh, go between them and then the, the spools are all in a very good spot for the printer. So I can just take the filament out and, uh, and load, it, load the printer. So this was uh, something I, I did to have uh, the spools inside the cabinet. So, so I think uh, for now this is going to be it. Uh, I'm going to glue this together and, 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 and spray it with a clear clear uh, coat just to finish it off, but I, I, I think I'll uh, just put that in and, and hope you enjoyed this video and, and learned something about the process of doing a project like this. So I'll see you in the next one.